Good morning, boys and girls. Today's May 4th, Monday, May 4th. And here's our math lesson. All right, let's start with our I can statement. Okay, I can recognize halves within a circular clock face and tell time to the half hour. All right, what do we need to do to this I can statement? What do we need to do? We need to break it down. Break it down. Say it with me. I can. Nice job. I can recognize. Recognize means you're going to be able to see or know it. Yeah. Halves. And a half is when we split something into two equal parts. Within a circular clock face. So within a circular clock face. So we're gonna look at the front of the clock, right? The front of our circular clock. So I'll draw one right here for you. I'm gonna draw it quickly so it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. in a circular clock face and tell time to the half hour. So if it's the half hour, it's going to be 30. So you could have 7.30 or 3.30, any time to the 30, any time to the half hour. All right, let's read this back together, okay? Ready? I can see or know that a half is two equal parts within a circular clock face and tell time to the half hour. All right, how do you feel about this, boys and girls? We did this a little bit on Thursday and Friday, and now we're gonna keep going with it because it's a little tricky. So how do we feel about telling time to the half hour? Rocking it, Miss Hurley. I love it, I know it. Awesome. In the middle, a little shaky on it. I sometimes get it right, but sometimes I don't, and that's okay too. Thumbs down. So super tricky, and that's all right. Okay, very nice job, boys and girls. All right, please get out your whiteboard and your marker. Okay, because, 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 because I want you to, Oh, I'm going to erase my word. I want you to draw me, for our math story today, it's a little different. I want you to draw me a circular clock with 12 on the top going all the way around with the numbers. Draw me a circular clock. I'm going to draw one on my board. Okay. Draw me a circular clock. Here we go. Start with 12. One, two, three. I drew mine too big. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want the 12 and the six. You want 12 to be on the top and six to be right underneath it, going down. Seven, eight, nine. You want nine and three to be kind of across from each other. Ten. 10, 11, bring my nine up, he's kind of hanging low. All right, there's my quick picture of a clock, right? It's not perfect, but it's a quick picture and you can look at it and know there's a clock. We need to put our hands on it, right? All right, it is 12 o'clock. Draw your, your long hand, your minute hand, and your hour hand, pointing at the 12. It's 12 o'clock. Now, boys and girls, a half an hour passes. I want you to color in half of your circle, right? So if a half an hour passes, right, that hand is gonna go down, 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 right? Right, so I'd like you to color in half of your circle. Okay. 
and I'm just going quickly like that. So our, our minute hand, right, our minute hand only goes halfway around the circle. So I wanted you to see that half of the circle is half, is um, 12, 30. So that hand would go all the way down here, right? And then our hour hand would be in between the 12 and the one. So halfway around the circle, so you could say half past 12, which would be 12.30. That's a new way we're going to work on that today, right? We're going to work on that today. So you could say 12.30. You could say half past 12. And that would also be 12.30 because you go halfway around the circle. Halfway. Half past is another way to say to the half hour, to the 30. All right, boys and girls. Nice job. Very nice job. All right. Now, I'm going to read you a few times, and I'd like you to write them on your whiteboard as a digital clock, okay? Or I'm going to show you a few times using my, my big clock, right? And I'm going to have you write the time on your whiteboard. All right. Ready? All right. Oh. What time is it? Write it down on your whiteboard. What time is it? It is right. The minute hand is up on the on the um the twelve. So we know it's on the hour, so it is eleven o'clock. And you would write that like this. Eleven o'clock. Nice job. Ready for our next one? All right, ready? Get ready. What time is it? Look where the minute hand is. It's up on the 12, so we know it's going to be. Our hour hand's on the 2, so it is 2 o'clock. Nice job. Did you have this written down? Did you have that written down? 2 o'clock. All right, let's try. Ooh, okay. Please get out your paper. Your paper clock. Because now I'm going to write the time on the board. And I would like you to create it with your paper clock. Okay, so ready? Here's the new time. All right, show me it on your clock. I'm going to make it on mine. What time? How should it look? All right, nice job. It's going to have the minute hand, that big hand, pointing up at the 12. And that hour hand is going to be, that small hand is going to be pointing down at the 7. So we know it is 7 o'clock. All right, now, ready? I'd like you to make 7.30. Remember that mini hand's gonna go halfway around your circle, right? 7.30, what would that look like? And I'll write it up here so you can see what it looks like on a digital clock. Seven thirty, right? The hour hand isn't going to be in between the 7 and the 8. The minute hand is down on the 6. So you could also say this is half past 7, right? Because it was 7 o'clock and we went halfway around the circle. So now it's half past 7. Half past 7, you could say 7.30. Those are the two ways you could say this time. All right, let's try another one. Ready? Let's try. Can you make this um, time on your clock? 
four o'clock. Four o'clock. There we go. Four o'clock. Please make that on your clock. Four o'clock, right? That hour hand is going to be pointing right at the four. That minute hand is going to be up on the 12. Four o'clock. All right, now, boys and girls, I'd like you to make half past four. Half past four. And we know half past four is 4.30. All right, let's make half past four. Right, if it was four o'clock here, we go halfway around the circle. Halfway around the circle. So now it is what time? 4.30. And that hour hand is in between the 4 and the 5. That minute hand is down on the 6. So it is 4.30, right? In between the 4 and the 5. 4.30. Nice job. Amazing job. All right, let's try. Ready? I'm going to make a time, and I want you to write it on your board and say it aloud, okay? Ready? This is a tricky one. Look where that minute hand is, down on the 30. It's in between the eight and the nine. When it's in between two numbers, we're always going to pick the smaller number. So which number is smaller, eight or nine? Right, eight. So what time is this? Right, you could say 8.30, or you could also say, how could you say it like the fancy way? Half past eight, say it. Half past eight, and half past eight you could also say 8.30. 8.30 and half past 8 are the same time. It just, you can say it either way. It has more than one name. Okay, ready? So if you were going to write that, you would write it. Right, 8.30. All right, let's do one more. This way. All right, I'm going to make a time. Shout it out. Make it on your board. Oops. Oh, here we go. Ready? What time is it? Right. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. What if I was going to say half past nine? Half past nine. Right, I'm going to have to bring that minute hand and go halfway around the clock. And then what time is it? Half past nine is 9.30. Nice job. So smart. So smart. 9.30. Nice job. Okay. Ready? I got a little bit of a story for you. Ready? Okay. So have your whiteboard, your marker, and your clock. Ready? Okay. Ready? Here we go. Kim's dance class starts at 3 o'clock. The class lasts half an hour. What time, what does the clock look like when the class ends? Okay, so we know Kim's dance class starts at what time? 3 o'clock. So let's make 3 o'clock with our clocks. Right. So we know Kim's dance class starts at 3 o'clock. The class lasts half an hour. So we're going to go, remember, oh, the whole clock is an hour going all the way around. When the minute hand goes all the way around, whoa, it is an hour. But it says it is only half of an hour. So we only have to go halfway around the circle. Halfway around the circle. So what time does it end? What time is the class over? Let's see. Go halfway around the circle. Halfway around the circle, we could say half past three or 3.30. Very nice job. We're 
All right, fabulous. All right, boys and girls, please get out your whoopee, Monday packet. All right, I'm gonna go over this together. All right, get this out. All right, use this. All right, it says Monday, May 4th. Make sure you have this packet. All right, read the times and color the clock that shows the correct time. All right, so we have half past three. Hmm. Half past three is what time, boys and girls? Halfway around the circle, so it's going to be three, not three o'clock, but three thirty, because half past three is another way we could say three thirty. All right, so now let's check out the clocks. Let's look at the first one. The first one has that the um, minute hand down at the six. That's where it should be. But is the hour hand in the correct spot? It's in between the two and the three. No, because that would be two thirty. All right, let's look at the next one. Is that it, boys and girls? No, that is three o'clock. Go to the end one. All right, our hour hand is pointing down, is pointing in between the three and the four. Is that right? And the minute hand is on the six. Yes, it is. Color that in, please. All right, let's go to the next one. Half past 12. Half past 12 is going to be what time, boys and girls? Right, it's going to be 12.30. All right, so we know the minute hand has to be down on the six. All right, let's look through this. Let's look at this. All right, 12.30. Remember that when it's 30, the hour hand has to be in between two numbers. All right, let's look at the first one. Is it, yep, it's down at the six, but is it in between two numbers? No, it's pointing directly at the 12, so that cannot be right. All right, let's look at the next one. It's pointing down, the minute hand is pointing down at the six, the big hand is pointing down at the six, good, good, but the hour hand is pointing in between the 11 and 12. No, that's all 11.30. All right, let's look at the next one. The minute hand is pointing down at the six, right? Yay. And the hour hand is in between the 12 and the one. Yep, that is it. Color that in. All right, and I'm gonna leave the bottom two for you to do. It says half past eight, so you're looking for 8.30. And then the bottom one says half past four, so you're looking for 4.30. Nice job. Turn the page. Okay. It says, this is what it should look like. Read the times. Draw the hands on the analog clock, so on the circle clock, and write the times on the digital clock. Okay, so they want you to do it on the, the circular clock and the digital clock. All right, the first one says five o'clock. All right, so if it's o'clock, where? Oh, right, that big hand is going to be pointing at the 12. That minute hand is going to be pointing at the 12. And where is the hour hand? The small hand is going to be pointing at the five. Very nice job. And we would write it on our digital clock, five. Zero, zero for five o'clock. Oh, nice job, boys and girls. Very nice job. All right, let's go to the next one. Half past 11. Half past 11. So halfway around the circle. We're at 11. It's 11 o'clock. Go halfway around. It's going to be 11.30. All right, let's fill in our digital clock first because that's easier, right? All right, now we need to make 11.30. Our minute hand, our big hand, needs to be pointing down at the six. Nice job. And where does our hour hand have to go? It has to go in between the 11 and 12. Nice job. In between the 11 and 12. Very, very 
Nice job. All right, I'm going to read the next two for you, but I'd like you to do them on your own. So it says half past six. So we know halfway around the circle. If it was six o'clock, the minute hand goes halfway around the circle. Now it is 6.30. And then we have six o'clock on the bottom. All right. Beautiful job, boys and girls. All right, turn to the last page. It says match the correct time. All right, so you can cut these out, boys and girls, and glue them on top if you'd like, or you can just write the times in, okay? You can just write them in. I'm just gonna write them in. All right, let's look at the first one. All right, looking at it, looking at it. What time is it? The minute hand is pointing at the 12, so we know it's going to be an o'clock. It is one o'clock. Yep, and it's down on the bottom, so I know I'm right. And I'm going to write that in. One dot dot zero zero. One o'clock. Nice job. All right, let's look at the next picture. All right, that minute hand is pointing down at the six, so we know it's going to be a... 30. Nice job. And it's in between. It's in between the 12 and the 1. And I know normally I'm like, oh, pick the smaller number. This is the only time you can. All right. So this one is 12 30. Nice job. Is that on the bottom? Yes, it is. All right. Go over again. The minute hand and the hour hand are both pointing up at the 12. So we know it's going to be an o'clock. And it's going to be what? 12 o'clock. And we'll write that in. All right, I'm going to do one more with you right here. All right, the minute hand is pointing down at the 6. So we know it's going to be a 30. It is what time? That hour hand is in between what two numbers? The Five and the six, so it's going to be five thirty. Nice job. And we're gonna fill that in. Beautiful job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls. Thank you so much for working so hard today. I know clocks can be super tricky. All right, I'm gonna leave you with the last five on this page and the other pages both have two. All right, I know you're gonna rock it. All right, boys and girls, I miss you so much. All right, remember, wash your hands. Love you, bye.